Welcome to this service. At entrance you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the deaths peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, Amen, Amen. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and rep repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light. Amen. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. The Bible, Matthew 20, part 20 to 28. The wife of Zebedee asks Jesus for something. Then the mother of James and John took them to see Jesus. Their father was Zebedee. She went down to her knees in front of Jesus. She asked him to do something good for her. What do you want me to do? Jesus asked her. She said, one day you will be king. Then I want, I want my two sons to rule with you. One may sit at your right side and the other at your left side. Please, will you do this? Jesus said to them, You do not understand what you are asking for. I will have much pain and trouble. You Are you ready to have the same pain? James and John replied, Yes, we can do that. Jesus said to them, Yes, this is true. You will have pain and trouble like mine. But I cannot promise that you will sit at my right side or at my left side. My Father God has chosen who will sit there. He has prepared the places for those people. When the other dis ten disciples heard about this, they were angry with the two brothers. Then Jesus told all the twelve disciples to come to him. He said to them, You know the thing that rulers of other uh, countries do. They show that 
they have great power over their people. The leaders of those countries use great authority over their people, but you should not be like that. The person who wants to be great among you must become your servant. The person who wants to be the most important person among you must work hard for everyone else. Even the son of man himself came to earth to be a servant to other people. He did not come here to have servants who must work for him. No, he, he came to die so that many people can be free. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Epistle Roman 11, part 13 to 24. Paul speaks to Gentiles. Now I am speaking to you who are Gentiles. God has sent me to be his apostle to the Gentiles. I thank him that he has given this important work to me. I hope that my work among you Gentiles will cause my own people to be jealous. As a result, some of them may turn to God so that he saves them. When God turned away from Israel's people, he then accepted other people in the world as his friends. So when God does accept Israel's people, the result will be even better. It will be like dead people who have become alive again. If you offer the first piece of bread to God, then all the bread will belong to God. If the roots of a tree belong to God, then the branches will also be his. Israel's people are like an olive tree and a farmer has planted. But God has broken off some of the, that tree's branches. Then he has taken a branch from a wild olive tree. He has put the, that wild branch into the farmer's tree to become part of that tree. You Gentiles are like the wild branch. Now you receive food from the root of the farmer's tree to make your, you strong. Israel's people are like the branches that God broke off. But you must not think that you are better than those branches. Remember that you are still only a branch. You do not make the root strong. No, it is the root that holds you up and makes you strong. You might, you might, you might say, God broke off the branches so that I could become part of the tree. That, that is true. God broke them off because they did not believe in Christ. God has accepted you as part of the tree because you do believe in Christ. Do so, do not become proud. Instead, be afraid. God broke off the uh, proper branches and he did not let them stay in the tree. So, if you no longer trust them, he will not let you stay either. So you should think about what God is like. He is kind, but he also punishes people. He has punished Israel's people because they turn away from him. He has, uh, he has been kind to you, but you must continue to accept his kind uh, gift. If you do not do that he will uh, break you off from his tree as well God is able to accept Israel's people back again if they come to believe in Christ God will put them back as part of the tree he is able to make them become 
uh, branches of the tree again God cut you like branches from a wild olive tree then he put you into the farmer's uh, olive tree so that you be became part of it he could do that even though that that was not your own tree before so God will be able to do that for his race people he can easily put them back into their own tree that they were part of before this is the word of Jesus thanks be to God hallelujah 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 Hallelujah. Gospel John 16 part 16 to 33. The disciple will be sad first but after that they will be happy. Jesus then said, after a short time you will not see me any longer. But soon after that, you will see me again. Some of his disciples said to each other, What does he mean? He says, After a short time, you will not see me any longer. But soon after that, you will see me. He also says, It is because I go to the Father. What does he mean when he says, A short time? We do not know what he is talking about. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him about this. So he said to them, I said after a short time, you will not see me any longer. But soon after that, you will see me again. Perhaps you are asking each other about that. I am telling you what is true. You will be sad and you will cry. But the people who belong to this world will be happy. Yes, you will be sad. But soon after that, you will become happy instead. It will be like this. When a woman is soon to give birth to a baby, she is sad. She knows that it will be painful. But after the baby is born, she is happy. She forgets her pain because now she is so happy. She is happy because her child has been born into the world. It is like that for you. You are sad now, but I will see you again, and then you will be happy. You will be really happy. Nobody will be able to stop you being happy. When that day arrives, you will not ask me for anything. I am telling you what is true. The Father will help you with anything that you ask him for in my name. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask God and you will receive what you ask for. Then you will be completely happy. I have spoken to you with, uh, with words and stories that are like picture, pictures, but there will be a time when I will not speak like that any longer. Instead, I will speak clearly to you about the Father. When that day arrives, you, re you yourselves will ask the Father in my name. I do not say that I will ask the Father on you, on your behalf. I will not need to do that because the Father himself loves you. He loves you because you love me and you have believed that I came from God. Yes, I came from the Father and I came into the world. Now I will leave the world and I will return to the Father. Jesus' disciples said to him, Now you are speaking clearly. You are not speaking with words that are like pictures. Now we are sure that you know everything. You do not uh, even need to ask people what they are thinking. Because of this, 
We believe that you uh, you came f- uh, from God. Jesus answered them, You say that you believe in me now, but it will happen very soon that all of you will run away to your uh, own homes. Yes, that time has already arrived. You will run away and leave, leave me alone, but I will not really be alone because the Father is always with me. I have told you these things so that you will have peace. You will be like that because you are united with me. In this world, you will have trouble, but be brave. I have destroyed the power of this world. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Trust the Lord. Do not become upset because of what wicked people do. Do not be jealous of people that do bad things. Remember that they are soon gone. They are like grass that quickly becomes dry. They will soon die like green plants in hot weather. Trust in the Lord and do good things. Then you will live safely in the land and you will not have trouble. Hallelujah. Be happy that the Lord takes care of you. He will give to you what you must want. Let the Lord be your guide into the future. Trust in Him and He will help you. He will show that you are righteous, that will be very clear like the sun at noon. Be patient as you wait for the Lord to help you. Trust Him to bring help. Do not become upset when bad people seem to do well, when their wicked ideas really happen. Do not become angry or upset. It will only bring trouble for you. Wicked people will come to an end, but people who trust the Lord for help will live safely in the land that He has given to them. Evil people will soon be gone. You may look for them, but you will not find them. Humble people will live safely in the land. They will live in peace and they will do well. Wicked people think about how to hurt righteous people. They show their teeth to frighten good people. But the Lord laughs at those wicked people because He knows that their death of punishment will come. Wicked people get out their sword and they prepare to shoot their bows. They try to make poor and helpless people fall down. They try to destroy people who do what is right. But their swords will go into their own hearts. Their bows will break in pieces. It is better to do what is right and only have a little than to be wicked and have a lot. The Lord keeps righteous people safe but he will destroy the power of wicked people. If anyone lives a completely good life, the Lord takes care of them. His gifts to them will last forever. When times of trouble comes, they will still be saved in a time of famine that will have enough to eat. But wicked people will die. They are the Lord's enemies. They will disappear like smoke from an oven that burns them up. Hallelujah. Amen. Preaching. Your reason of drought, your season of pain, your season of wilderness will never be in rain. You may feel so worthless and stagnant. You may feel like you're, you are doing nothing, but take heart because God is doing something. Amen. Great for you. But take heart because God is doing something great for you. 
Amen. You may not understand what's going, going on in your life right now, but don't forget, God is always with you. You may have so many questions in your mind and, you're, and you don't know where you are going. Just learn to rest in the presence of God. Amen. For He always got you. All you need to do is to receive His great love. Amen. Allow Him to love you in, his, in this season. Allow Him to embrace you. Allow Him to comf comfort you. God wants you to be more independent on Him and not in your own understanding. Amen. Not in your skills and knowledge, but only in Him. Acknowledge that you have a God who will take good care of you. Amen. Learn the rest even if you are in the middle of wilderness. I know it is very difficult to do and maybe you think that it's close to impossible. But remember that if you have God, nothing is impossible. Amen. Only Him can you peace even if you are in the middle of the storm. Even if you are too occupied with so many troubles, troubles, only His love can take away your fears. Only His strength can give you confidence. You, you surrounded to Him everything. God is building up something in you. He is teaching you something very important. You may not recognize it right now, but always remember that He is preparing you. Amen. Never under underestimate the ways of God, for it is powerful than you think. Amen. Believe in the power of God in your life. Do not focus on what you have been going through, but set your eyes on the one who is with you all this time. Amen. Set your eyes to the one who truly loves you, to the one who never fails to sustain you. Amen. Decreed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Plate, this, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of intercessions. We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts 
and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, His Spirit is with us, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give thanks and praise, Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing, Holy Holy, Holy, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. who is in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord. Amen. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Amen. Accept through him our great high Lord, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord through him and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and glory and are yours now and forever. Amen. If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, Son of God. You take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. 
but you lord are the god of our salvation and share your bread with sinners so cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom Amen God's holy gifts for God's holy people Jesus Christ is holy Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father Amen You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.